ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் நியூ வீடியோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் லேர்ன் ஹவு டு டிசைன் கிளைம் ஆஃபீஸம் இன் ஃபிக்மா கிளைம் ஆஃபீஸம் இஸ் அ வைட்லி யூஸ்ட் டிசைன் ப்ராசஸ் இன் ஃபிக்மா யூ கேன் ஆல்சோ இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் யோர் கிளைம் ஆஃபீஸம் டிசைன் இன் ஆப்ஸ் அண்ட் வெப்சைட்ஸ் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் கெட் ஸ்டார்ட் டு பிஃபோர் தட் இஃப் யூ ஹேவிங் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு மை சேனல் ப்ளீஸ் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் அண்ட் வாட்ச் the entire video to know the process thoroughly so this is claim officeum we are going to design the same in another frame okay we will delete this we will create a new frame this will be a custom frame and let's change the color of this frame I'm going to give you light red color and let's add another rectangle inside this frame. You can create a rectangle using the keyboard or and for this we are going to create a custom sized rectangle. Okay. Add a corner radius of 40. and let's change the default color of this rectangle we will change this to white and after that go to effects and click on drop shadow the default value will be top shadow if you click on drop shadow you will be given four options to select here i am going to select inner shadow after selecting inner shadow you can see an icon here if you click on that a tab pops up give the x value as minus 24 and y value as minus 24 and we will give the blur value to 48 okay and the spread value will be 0 let's change the color of this border to some more red color okay i think this is perfect okay you can see a small change here click on the effx again you can see a plus icon on the right side of the fx panel click on that in the options select inner shadow after selecting inner shadow click on the icon and you will be redirected to this page again now give the x value as 12 and y value as 12 now the blur value will be 24 last time we used the x and y value as 24 and the blur value as 48 now we are using x and y value as 12 and the blur value to 24 and let's change the color i will select the same exact color we select for the previous inner shadow okay um mm, click on the frame and change the color of the frame okay some more dark color and for the final touch click on the rectangle again and go to the fx again now this time you add a drop shadow now we are going to give the value as minus 24 and minus 24 for x and y and the blue value will be 48 okay now you can see the claymorphic design here before that mm, yeah let's change this color to red somewhat dark red okay 
you can see the claim of fig design you can implement this claim of ism while designing for buttons or icons in your app or website so this is the concept thank you for watching this video see you in another video with another cool concept thank you